welcome back to the channel. As you might see, I'm alone today. So Becca did a video a few days ago all about her experience at the University of Warwick. So today, you've guessed it, I'm here to tell you all about the University of Birmingham. So I went there between the years of 2017 and 2020. So the first thing to tell you all about is the accommodation on offer at the University of Birmingham. So in first year, as at most universities, you will live in the halls of residence. And Birmingham has this amazing place called the Vale Village, which is made up of loads of different types of accommodation that can really suit everybody. So some are catered, some are non-catered, some have shared bathrooms, some have en-suites. As I said, something for everybody. And you're kind of in your separate place from the rest of campus. It's gorgeous and green and there's a giant lake in the middle. It's got good facilities so you can go to the shop, you can go to a restaurant, get your favourite coffee or pizza and everything's within a short walk and you're all around other first year so it's perfect for socialising if you meet a new friend the night before you can go and see them the day after and be like hi so my first choice was Chamberlain and luckily I got it so there is a Chamberlain tower alongside three blocks blocks A to C so I was in block A and really happy because Chamberlain is quite a new build so it's very modern at the time that I was there, Chamberlain was catered. So <laughs> for those of you who don't know, I wasn't a good cook before I started university. So I was really pleased that in first year, that's something that I didn't have to worry about. So I was really happy with my flat. There were six of us. Um, it was supposed to be three girls, three boys, but in fact, it was four girls. Everyone was really sociable, but I do know that in Chamberlain, some people have mixed experiences. So definitely look around. By the sounds of it, tennis courts is the best one for socialising. So just see kind of what your priorities are. And if you need to ask me any questions, I'm sure I'll know someone from each of the accommodations to, to get back to you. Then in second and third year, as with other universities, you move out of your halls of residence and into a local area. And at the University of Birmingham, you tend to move to Selly Oak, or Selly for short. So it's not the nicest area, but it is very studenty. Again, it's got all the facilities and it's really a short walk to university. Sometimes, especially in my third year accommodation, I would wake up and I could be on campus within 10 minutes easily. Next, we move on to nightlife, which is obviously an integral part of your university experience. And this is where Birmingham really shines because there's something for everybody. So in first year, I would often find that I would end up at the Duck and Scholar, which is on the Vale Village, which is where all the accommodation is, as I previously mentioned. They have DJs on the weekend and really good cocktail hours, I recall. So that was a fab and safe place for me to go and really easy to walk home. It also meant that you can make friends. The classic conversations of first year would be, where are you from? What degree are you doing? What accommodation are you in? And it was just such a gentle easing into the university nightlife experience. Again, in first year, I also found myself going on to Broad Street, which was probably a 10 minute Uber from where I lived, maximum. And there are the likes of Players and Snobs and Rosies, and they're all fab. You've got to go there as a fresher. You'll soon work out what kind of rooms you like to go into, what floors of each club. And again, it's a really good way to make friends. So then when you live in Selly Oak, you tend to start going to the pubs and to Circo. There were two pubs when I was there, but one has just closed down very sadly. So the pub that's left over is called The Goose and it's fantastic. Again, great drink deals. And then literally just over the road is a place called Circo. It is a bar, but it really does turn into a club at night time. And it's fabulous because you will just bump into people that you know. It's a great time. And then you can just walk home after a night out. Another night out that's local is of course the Students' Union. So on Wednesday evenings, they have what's called sports night. So all the different sports societies have pre's in their different locations, sometimes in Circo. And then you would all congregate in the Students' Union for just the craziest night out ever. On a Saturday, it's called fab and fresh and again that's fantastic super cheap really easy you can walk there do it in groups so you're safe but you can walk there and it's a great time 
and again you know your surroundings because you're literally partying on campus but if you want to venture out and go into Birmingham there are so many bars and clubs and there's literally something for everybody so I quite quickly came to realise that my favourite night out venue was a place called Lab 11 which is in Digbeth and I would love it every single time that I went there. So if you want to try something new when you go to the University of Birmingham make sure you go to Lab 11 and I really hope that you love it. Okay so on to facilities, as I think I mentioned at the beginning it is the most gorgeous campus especially the central part, it's completely red brick and it's stunning and luckily that's where the law school was. So in terms of my own experience the law school inside is quite traditional I wouldn't say run down, but it definitely hasn't been given a new lease of life recently. However, they do have great facilities inside, such as a mock courtroom and all the different sizes of lecture theatres and seminar rooms. And then onto the side of the law school, we've built something, not me, but the University of Birmingham have built something called Harding. And it's a Harding Law Library and it's stunning. It's so modern and it's just where the law students go, it's perfect. So if you're thinking of going to the University of Birmingham and studying law like I did, that's probably where you'll end up studying and it's fantastic. But the main library is also quite new. It has three or four floors, gorgeous, great access to loads of resources, really easy to use. And I used to find that there was always a seat, especially if you arrived at a good time in the morning. But adjacent to that, they've also built the teaching and learning building, which again has great facilities, loads of study spaces. So people are kind of venturing out to that as well. In terms of other facilities, we have a really new sports um, building, which has kind of a state of the art gym and swimming pool and all the different like exercise classrooms. A lot of money is pumped into this university so they do keep building fabulous buildings for the students to enjoy. So if you want a quiet space or somewhere to study as a group or if you want to grab a coffee or if you want to go and watch a sport, there's really that like, everything's within walking distance. It's fantastic. I couldn't, I couldn't ask for better facilities during my time. Okay so next up we're going to talk a bit about the support that I received. In terms of my um, course specific support, the law lecturers were amazing. They are literally experts in their field. Some of the Irish lecturers had recently written some of the um, clauses in the new Abortion Act in Ireland. And then you had like the head of counter-terrorism who was on BBC News literally last year. I don't know, they're all just fantastic and you can tell they're really passionate so then it makes you excited to learn. In terms of support, I would say my top tip is utilise office hours. At first, I was scared. I was like, why would I go and see my lecturer specifically and waste their time? But that's not what it's about. They are there, especially in their office hours, with an open door, ready to answer any questions that you have. I would say the support was second to none. My lecturers were my favourite people ever. And then more generally about the city, it's kind of up and coming. At first I think Birmingham had a bad reputation, but now, especially for law, it's the second city. Again, they've pumped a lot of money into the city. They're, they're moving all the big banks from London. It's gorgeous and you can really find some amazing places there. That leads me on to my final three top tips. My first tip is explore the city because when you go to university, you'll feel safer and more at home if you understand where you live. So I think within the first two weeks, I dragged my course mates into the center of Birmingham and we just walked for three hours or so around the jewelry quarter, Digbeth, the bull ring, just to kind of familiarize ourselves and get our bearings. And then we had a better understanding of the city that we live in. Top tip number two is make the most of induction week. It's very daunting when you first arrive at university, you know that you need to suddenly live independently, you need to make friends, you need to get to your lectures on time and make course mates. It can be a lot, but in induction week, there are always people there to help you and you will probably meet some of your best friends potentially in induction week. So for example, I went to the Law Society, which is called Holdsworth. I think they had a barbecue in Serco, well, outside obviously. 
and that's where I met my course besties. And just be out there, confident if you can, introduce yourself to everybody because realistically you're all in the same boat. You're all nervous and you just want to get a good start. My third top tip is of course, try all of the different nights out. You won't know what you like unless you try them. Again, there's something for everybody. You will just have the best time once you find the place for you. So just go out there, grab your mates and go try all the nights out. And honestly, Lab 11's the place to be. So thank you so much for watching. This was my honest review of the University of Birmingham. I would give it a 10 out of 10. If you haven't watched Becca's video already, make sure you go back and watch that. She reviews her time at the University of Warwick. And on Sunday, we have our fifth video of our launch week. We aren't yet going to tell you what it's about, but it's a really exciting one and we are buzzing to share it with you. So stay tuned, like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you Sunday. Bye!